BAFTA TV Awards 2018, Rio Ferdinand close to tears as he pays tribute to late wife before thanking beautiful girlfriend Kate Wright during Best Single Documentary win. Rio Ferdinand was close to tears when he accepted a British Academy Television Award on Sunday night, for a film he made about his late wife Rebecca Ellison. The widowed footballer paid tribute to Rebecca in his emotional acceptance speech at the Royal Festival Hall in London, while also thanking his beautiful girlfriend Kate Wright, 26, for her support. On the night, there were a few more surprises on the podium, including Netflix's first-ever TV BAFTA for the Crown, a win for Love Island, which caused uproar among fans, and also a snub for David Attenborough, whose Blue Planet 2 show missed out on the top gong. A tearful Rio accepted the single documentary award for Rio Ferdinand, being Mum and Dad, which aired on BBC One last June. In the special, Rio depicted the difficulties of being a single parent to his three children following the death of his beloved wife to cancer in 2015. Fighting back tears, the retired sports star accepted his BAFTA TV award by saying, I'm normally quite used to picking up trophies. Thanks to BAFTA and all the other nominees, but also to BBC for believing in the project, all the guys at New Era, the management team, it's been quite a crazy whirlwind experience. I didn't do this for any other reason other than my three kids. The worst thing to come out of this is that I get quite emotional now. I'm not quite used to it. You are built up as quite an indestructible athlete. All of the nans, the granddads, the younger people, the middle-aged people who come up to me in the street don't want to talk about football. Rio gestured to his girlfriend Kate, who was looking on from the studio audience, and thanked her for her support. He added, those people lacking in character and confidence, it has encouraged to give them a voice. This documentary has given something to my three kids. This documentary has propelled me forward into a period of happiness where my kids are happy. I've got a beautiful girlfriend. Thank you, BBC, thank you very much. And while Rio got a kiss from girlfriend Kate on his return to his seat, it was similarly supportive wife Ali Estal who was waiting in the wings to see Declan Donnelly accept an award for the first time without sidekick Ant McPartlin. After he joined her on the red carpet, where his comedic partner Ant would usually be, December was accompanied by Britain's Got Talent co-stars in accepting Best Entertainment Program. Unlike Rio, December declined to give a speech as he collected one of three possible awards that Ant and December had been put nominated for on the night. Hosted by Sue Perkins, it was a night of shocks for many, since Love Island scooped the prize for Best Reality and Constructed Factual. The prestigious BAFTA win came as a shock for many TV fans at home, despite the ITV2 favorite becoming one of the most talked about shows of 2017. Taking to the stage to accept their prize was host Carolyn Flack, along with the show's most recent stars Chris Hughes and Marcel Somerville, while Ian Sterling rushed to the stage in a break from providing commentary for the show. Elsewhere, The Crown's Vanessa Kirby accepted the award for Best Supporting Actress, while her co-star Claire Foy was snubbed again. Similarly overlooked, the BBC's Sir David Attenborough-fronted documentary series Blue Planet 2, which was the most-watched TV program of 2017, missed out on the award for Specialist Factual. Viewers raged on social media afterwards, but luckily they had some consolation that the show was awarded the prize for Virgin TV's Must See Moment, voted for by the general public. The evening had brought out the best of the UK's acting, presenting and reality show talent, including Michelle Keegan, Abby Clancy, and Amanda Holden. It had also been a big night for Rio and Kate, who had made their first official awards outing together. Former Toei star Kate showed off her envy-inducing figure in a slinky white lace gown as she cozied up to her beau at the Royal Festival Hall in London. Their cozy outing comes after the footballer revealed his three children adore Kate, who he gushed is vitally important to their family. The blonde looked truly stunning in her intricate white gown, which clung to her enviable curves all the way down. The dress cut into stylish cold shoulders, before cinching in at her slim waist and extending to the floor in a chic semi-sheer lace skirt, teasing at her legs underneath. Maintaining the elegant feel from head to toe, Kate swept her hair into a tight bun, and tied everything together with a classically glamorous slick of red lipstick. Meanwhile Rio cut a slick and suave figure in a navy suit, teamed with a crisp white shirt and black bow tie. Posing on the red carpet arm in arm, the couple looked more besotted than ever as they enjoyed a date night at the star-studded awards. Kate and Rio started dating in early 2017, two years after the tragic loss of his wife Rebecca to breast cancer, aged 34. The couple have only gone from strength to strength, with Rio recently revealing Kate is a vital part of the family, and adored by his children Lawrence, 11, date, 9 and Tia, 6. He told the Times Magazine, My relationship with Kate has helped in that they have got a female in the house now. They run past me sometimes to go to her. I've had to go through a period of being very, very open, and men aren't normally like that naturally. So having that extra person in the house who is female, who has that softer touch, I think is vitally important for the kids. Meanwhile Kate recently spoke about her role as a stepmother on This Morning, 
confessing her decision to quit Toei and focus on their romance was a no-brainer. She said, everyone thinks I'm crazy, even my mom was like, you're mad. But I had two choices. I was in this world of drama and in the public eye. Then I met Rio. He had children who lost their mom. They didn't have a woman in their lives. Someone needs to be at home and give them love. The youngsters have even brought up the idea of marriage and more children and consistently pester Kate and Rio about when they're getting a baby sibling. Kate enthused. I couldn't imagine the kids would talk about it before. At the school gates, at first they said that's my aunt, then that's dad's girlfriend, then that's my stepmom, and now they say on daily basis, when are we having a brother or sister? It's really lovely, 